Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome Boo. back. Oh, he was hiding behind the terrarium. <laughs> welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode with myself and the Invisible Cirque. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Although the Stardust Dragon is kind ah, of giving right. away your yeah. location. Um, Come on, guy, get away. <laughs> yeah, so, so today, thanks to the advice of several people in the comments and a bit of time on the Terraria wiki, we're going to try and take on the Solar Pillar again, and apparently the, the Crawlipedes don't attack you if you're on the ground. So uh, if you're if you're ready to go for this, I reckon we should give it another shot. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna switch out my wings oh, with my me, uh, warding charm of with, let uh, me, myth. Your, char your charm of whiffs. My let's, charm of whiffs. <laughs> so there are a few, a few whiffs this time around. I'm just going <laughs> to yeah buff my magic and stuff, but there's... Not a whole lot else I can do except just, you know, blind fire and panic. Uh, yeah. But hopefully this should go a little bit better for uh. us now we know not to spend too much time in the air. The problem is going to be, you look at all the gravestones around here. <laughs> it's, it's pretty obvious what we've been doing, isn't it? I'm just going to extend this platform so we don't have to... Have to leap over there, yeah. So this is about the point where the, the crawly guys start uh. to appear and... Yeah, there's a lot of these guys who stay on the ground, but I don't know, Nebula Arcanum can actually take care of these guys pretty quickly. Ouch. And yeah, you've got your crazy machine gun. That's, that's not too <laughs> bad. Yeah, I too made bad. up some uh, chlorophyte bullets. Oh, super good for the uh, the homing. I need to oh, I need to turn my sound down. This is <laughs> way yeah, too loud. Yeah, it's getting a little bit much. Uh I gotta back off though. Oh, I'm yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting hit a little bit by these guys. I suppose I haven't buffed yet. I think, yeah, yeah. Throwing some potions in this is probably going to be a good idea. And I All guess right. as long as you aren't seeing some of the the crawlipedes around you, you can probably uh, take a quick, sort of a quick flight if you're <laughs> prepared to come down again very shortly afterwards. Yeah. Man, uh. this thing actually does a lot of damage, which is pretty great. The Nebula Blaze is pretty good too. Ouch! Oh no, oh no, oh <laughs> no, okay. Hits. Yeah, I've got my, my Spectre Hood back on, so I should be healing us, but oh my days, it's getting it's getting a little hot in there. <laughs> no pun it's, intended. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty intense. Wow, okay. Uh, I still haven't buffed or anything yet. I'm trying to save my potions for just in case we manage to to get through this. But yep, yeah, nope, that's uh, that's not working. <laughs> You're looking a little bit the worse for wear over there. I'm coming as fast as I can. Here we go. <laughs> I'm actually I'm healing. I, yeah. I was down to no health before I got over here, and now I'm I'm doing fine. Yeah, get wrecked, crawlipedes. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here under this uh, under this rainbow for a little bit. It's the guys that can oh, yeah. go through the ground. They're kind of the worst. They are. But yeah, this is this is good as meteors a little from a little defensive barrier coming around here. This this is not not too bad. It looks like man, this thing oh, drains. Rainbow's gone. Ah, uh, help! This thing drains mana like nobody's business, though. There's so many like high intensity spells right now. There's, yeah, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, yeah, I'm getting that way myself. I think Ouch. I just got immobilized by something as well. I could be... <clears throat> oh, really? I could be wrong about that. I might have just been, like, fumbling my keyboard a little bit, but I think something just froze me. Like, we're we're taking out people, which is good. Yeah, like, yeah. We're, I feel like we're, we're killing a lot. We just... It's going to be hard getting to the actual pillar when it's time. Yeah, yeah. I think we make our way closer to it and then see if there's a, a defensible position over there. Ah, okay, yeah. The first thing I do is, like, run into those crazy things with the lances. Oh, oh yeah. my word. Right. Uh, and the Crawlipede came for me because I was in the air. Dang it. <sighs> they they dive bomb you so fast. Yeah. It's unreal. <laughs> I just hopped up a little ledge and I saw him almost come for you. <laughs> yeah. he, he backed off. I keep seeing like these comets fly from the sky and I think they're attacks or something, but it's just the... Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> you, th you, think, like you think they're like... They're dive bombing you, but it's, it's just a... Just a background effect. I'm I'm holding them off a yeah. little bit. Let me let me hang up this banner here, and then hopefully oh, that'll yeah. give us a bit of an advantage. I'll try and shoot a rainbow through this tree as well. That way they have to walk through it if they want to get to us. Oh yeah, this is working. This is working. <laughs> the firework it. display is ridiculous. Oh, oh there's one of those Back guys. The yeah, some of them, some of them are actually rather than being comets, they are actually enemies. There we go. Okay, we've got the 50th of those guys. We'll pop another banner up there. 
Okay, yeah, this is looking better. This is looking better. I'm gonna make my way in there. Yeah, push forward. Push forward. That's it. <laughs> Hold the line! <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow! I'll, oh, I'll, I'll keep the us. shield's down. Keep us covered. Rainbow, with the right. Oh, yes, fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna uh, buff here so I don't die. Uh, yeah, got a rainbow there. Save my potions. Oh, we got this. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Look at that pillar go down. It's so fast. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. I'm not ready. Okay. Moon Lord time. Moon Lord time. Okay, we need to get back to our arena, I guess, by the house. Probably gonna be the best place to do this. Man, I'm so low on health right now. Okay, here we go. We got the arena. We've got our uh, campfires. There should be a heart lantern around here somewhere. If there's not, why not? <laughs> no, I think I think there's one under the ground over there. So. Let's uh, make sure my All right. summons are still going. This is it. This is end game. Of course, it would have <laughs> to happen at night. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't see a thing. It's always so bad for the thumbnails. Ugh. Yeah. And it gets, <laughs> it gets super quiet. And there oh. it is. Okay, let's do this. Aim for the hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this ain't going too well, huh? The bullets are, like, invisible right now. It's weird. Ah! Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Okay, okay. Freaking Ouch. head beams. Yep. Instantly dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh, He's got good. me with his tongue, though. Not good. Stop. I... He's so fast. Yeah, I don't know if my healing abilities will work, because doesn't he have a thing that basically stops you from regening? I don't know if that Ow. has any effect on my, my armor. Um, I don't. I think there, I think it does affect it a little bit. Yeah. Like you still, it still works, but not as well. Obviously. Yeah. I'm gonna die here. Yep. yep. <laughs> well, that was that. <laughs> there I we go. As expected. Yeah, pretty much. There's <laughs> the eye, the freaking eye things are still here. Yep, and they disappeared. <laughs> Fantastic. Just so, for you. so that was Moon Lord, and. Uh, <laughs> It's an awful lot of well, gravestones up here. Yeah, it's a good series. We we faced Moon Lord. That's it, right? We're yeah, done. that's it. End end game. That was it. Uh, we're all, all done. All done. Uh, thanks for watching, Terraria. Um, <laughs> I reckon I reckon we need to have another go at that at some point, but we probably need to be slightly better prepared. Yes, more potions. Maybe get some better weapons from someone like uh, Duke Fishron. Yes, that was that was going to be the se the backup strategy for this episode. <laughs> Is probably take on Fishron, get the. Uh, I want to get the Razorblade Typhoon because that's a pretty decent weapon for fighting the big stuff. Oh, and yeah. I I don't know how we're going to take him on. <laughs> well, we of... go to the ocean and we fight him. Yeah. I, and try not to die. I guess we'll have to make a little arena kind of over the ocean, <clears throat> probably over there on the right hand side. Oh, there's another truffle worm here, speaking of Duke Fishron. <laughs> Almost perfectly placed. Nice. So, uh, yeah. So I think we have like three of them now. So we can uh, potentially grind fish run if we can beat him at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in I the meantime, think, um... I have some solar fragments. So do we want to make anything Ooh. solar wise? I can make us a solar what eruption. Um, solar eruption is probably <clears throat> my favorite of the two of them. But then there's the Heck. daybreak. Which is... I, I don't remember them at all. <laughs> this guy. Oh, yeah, the little spear thing. And that has an awful lot of damage. That's 187 damage. That's and then nice. Solar Eruption is this one. Oh, yeah. And this flail thing. And it goes through blocks as well, which is... That's kind of nice, yeah. Is, is pretty great. <laughs> I used to use this for lighting up all of the terrain underground. Just be oh, able to yeah. like go down the map and be like, What's over here? <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Your map looks a little bit crazy for a while afterwards, but uh, yeah, so there we go. We've got the solar weapons, and nice. I've only got five fragments left, but yeah, I guess we didn't really need the solar stuff anyway if we're focusing more on magic and ranged. Yeah, I don't stuff. really have, yeah, I don't have plans to use that. I think I might keep the solar eruption on me because it's kind of handy for some stuff, but yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Not sure quite how much I'll use it in the long run. Doesn't hurt to keep it around though. Mm. Um, I think we should maybe try and go get some in more endurance potions though first before. Yes. Yes. Let's do a bit of fishing before we take on fish run. That seems like a good plan. All right, I'm fishing, and there we go. Here he is. Oh. 
Ow. I've got the Ow. rainbow out, so you can at least try. Let's, uh, let's buff. Oh, it looks like he's going down pretty fast still. Can't remember if I have my Tiki armor. Yeah, I must have my Tiki armor on. Oh, oh I'm going down hello. pretty fast though too. Hello. Ouch. It hurts. Stop coming after me. <laughs> He's okay. almost dead. He though. is almost dead. He is very. Yes, oh, there wow. we go. That Look was... at that. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, I mean, I, I almost died, but <laughs> it went down very quickly. Oh, I needed that after the, the beating we got from the Moon Lord. Oh, yes. I got the, I got Razor the Blade. Razor Blade Typhoon. I have it. Oh, oh I got it too. <laughs> hey. Oh, now that this thing is really awesome. I love this weapon. This is going to be fun. Zap, zap, zap. Just oh, and I got the Shrimpy Truffle. Yes. Anything that's got homing at this point. I have... Oh, yeah, I have a Shrimpy Truffle as well. A legendary, flish, a legendary creature which flourishes in water and combat. We'll just have to flood our world and use this for combat. <laughs> yeah. Will Moon Lord fight underwater? <laughs> I have I've no idea. But, yeah, it does I look think... like we're flying indefinitely. Well, like, that's I'm just, pretty nice. I'm just hovering here. It's kind of slow, but... A little bit. <clears throat> oh, just bullseyeing harpies with this thing now. <laughs> oh, that's pretty incredible. I almost want to. We can both be magic, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'll use your own weapon against you. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, take him underwater. <laughs> I am the master of the water now. <laughs> With your mount. Ah. That tornado's uh, <laughs> popping up all of a sudden. <laughs> there we go. And he is fast. Yeah, he is. <laughs> His mount is very fast too, though. Yes. Which is nice. Oh, I'm getting confused, though. Why am I getting confused? No. Uh... Dang it. Well, that sucks. Oh, he's teleporting around me. Help! <laughs> well, at least the typhoon's uh, homing. Yes. Kind of useful, that. Oh, come on. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Hey. And... Almost had me. Oh, we got the trophy we got as well. Trophy. Nice. Yes. And let me in. There we go. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> yeah, he, like, confused me, and I got stuck by the edge of the world. Ooh. I got a bubble gun. I got a bubble gun too. What is this? Magic damage. Is there any enemies? Yeah, I, I did quite a bit of damage while I was swimming around underwater, yeah. but. <laughs> I just ran into a shark. <laughs> <laughs> the least of my problems right now. Get out of here. Oh, I'm stuck. So fast. I think the problem is the uh, the razor blade thing keeps uh, he keeps dodging between the platform and the the open sky. Oh yeah. That was Ouch. Ah. Oh. The Sharknado got me. Oh no. <laughs> After he died. Ah, <laughs> uh, stupid. All right. Well, well, at least you can get back here and get your uh, get your reward. Let's see what we got this bag. time. A flare on. Oh, it's like a flail kind of thing. <clears throat> oh, nice. That kind of seems seems a little weak. I don't know, though. Maybe those those bubbles are probably going to do damage, aren't they? Bubbles. These bubble-related weapons. <laughs> uh, I got the flare on as well. Okay, well. Not too bad. We didn't get the bow. Yeah. Like to try out, but whatever. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be able to get another uh, truffle worm pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So, to the cultists, and we can... Destroy our world again. Yeah, I guess so. Make it hospitable. <laughs> that's <laughs> just bubbles. That's, that's so silly. Bubbles. <laughs> there he is. Okay, lunatic cultist is here. My bubbles. <laughs> oh, the dragon's right on him. That's nice. Get up here so we can attack you. There we go. Man, he's <laughs> he's going down so fast now. Oh, that's pretty incredible. Not a chance. Just the dragon is right on him. Nice. There uh, we go. Another ancient manipulator. 
Zing. Very good. I'm going to head back here, and I need to upgrade my Razorblade Typhoon, I think. I'm just going to go right to the... Actually, are they in the same spot? They are not. So we got the Nebula on the right there. The Solar Pillar is Vortex in the, in the same. same oh, it's just place. the Nebula and the Stardust that switched. Interesting. Ah! <laughs> there was a... It's a weird mushroom thing in the house. <laughs> I'm gonna try and just make my way back. Mm -hmm. um, going through the nebula area, see how this goes. <laughs> I'll leave the extra ancient manipulator in there. I'll probably leave the solar eruption in there, to be honest, because I don't plan on using that all that much now that mm -hmm. I have my uh, my special weapons. Uh, let's special. Let's reforge this. Shoddy, nope. <laughs> Ignorant, really. <laughs> Ruthless is better. Deadly is a lot better. Okay, good. And the other ones I have Deadly and I have Murderous. And man, some of this stuff is taking like <laughs> 24 gold to reforge. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I need to reforge it. Oh, I think I just oh. moved the day on by mistake. <laughs> Dang you it. sure did. I had the, uh, <laughs> stop, no. <laughs> well, it's night time again. <laughs> Way to go. All right. I'm kind of happy I got the, the fish run. Oh, and oh. a solar eclipse. <laughs> well, give us a chance to try out the new weapons. Now, this thing hardly uses any mana compared to my other stuff as well. That's nuts. Yeah, even I can use it for a little bit. Like the Nebula Blaze is like draining my mana in about five seconds. This thing mm -hmm. <laughs> goes for a little bit longer than that. The best thing about these events with lots of little guys coming at you is that they keep dropping mana stars. <laughs> so I don't uh -huh. even need to recharge my mana all that much. Which is good, because I think I'm pretty low on potions now. You know, I think, we, so need loud. <laughs> I think we need to do Martians again. I think the... One of the other problems with Moonlord right now is maneuverability. Mm -hmm. Just being able to avoid his attacks. I think we're just too slow with just wings or uh, even the mounts, I think, aren't as quick as they could be. Yeah. You can sort of fly over him, but this thing is a little bit clunky, a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing isn't... Like I said, we just need to flood our world. Yeah. <laughs> Fill it all with water. You won't stand a chance. <laughs> Imagine yeah, do, doing yeah, that, that with the uh, yeah, mount would be nice. Before you had the uh, infinite bucket, you <laughs> just slowly <laughs> filling up your world with one of those water duplicators. And the day is over. Hey. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> I think I can probably <laughs> claim that as my fault. <laughs> but hey, at least we made some money. Yeah. That's it actually looks like, um, I don't think we have enough, or maybe we do. The bow looks really nice, the phantasm bow that you can make from the fragments. question is, do I want to go for something better than deadly and deadly. murderous? Murderous. <laughs> oh, I did, and I went, for, I, I went for it, I got godly. So I have a, go <laughs> a godly nebula arcanum now. <clears throat> well, that's nice. Which is pretty good. Um... And yeah, Deadly gets me plus 10% damage on the Nebula Blaze. I found out, <laughs> whilst playing this uh, in my spare time, I found out that if you've got the slime mount equipped, you can fall really, really fast down like elevators and stuff. Oh, yeah. To, to the point where I was almost falling faster than the world could load. You could kind of see things loading <laughs> in from right to left. <laughs> So if, uh, huh. there's something to try at home. If you've got a, <laughs> if you've got a slime mount and a elevator, Doug, then uh, yeah, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know if we have a spare uh, slime saddle in here. I'm not seeing one. Yeah, I don't think we ever got one. I think I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go as well. Let's see how we do against these guys with uh, <laughs> a couple more interesting weapons under our belts. All right. I tell you what else would be good for um, for Moon Lord. There's a there's a potion that I think like adds twenty percent to your maximum life. Oh, so you can uh, have like maybe six hundred health or something like that total. I think that's how it yeah. ends up. Yeah. 
And here we are again. <laughs> Man, this thing is great just for mana consumption. <laughs> it does a decent amount of damage, but it's Ow. just not draining my mana constantly. It hurts. <laughs> everything hurts. <laughs> but we're hurting everything as well, so... <laughs> and that's kind of true, yes. Just looking at all the graves around here. <laughs> Well, the pillar is basically right above this tree at this point, so... If we're going to take it out oh, from yeah, anywhere... It's, it's, it's way here. up there. It is. Wow. So, so, so we getting have to up, go in the air to get it. Yeah, uh, getting up to that is going to be difficult. <laughs> I think. Oh, this is not good. Uh, the tiki armor was a bad choice. Do we have a campfire around here? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't look like we do. Okay, so we need to get some of that stuff set up once everything calms down a little bit. Yeah. Some, some natural health regen on the go. Ah, okay. Ouch. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you got it in the neck there. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm I need to switch up my armor. <laughs> Tiki armor's not quite <laughs> yeah. tanky enough. Yeah, same here. I think I'll uh, get the Spectre Hood back on so we get some more healing. Uh, that's not too bad, though. I think we survived for a lot longer than we did in the last episode. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, especially considering, like last time I was wearing the Shroomite when we went and fought that. Boop. There, there we go. go. Okay, I have slightly less mana, but a lot more healing. I still have 851 arrows. Wow, I was holding <laughs> it down that whole time. Yeah. Yeah, those things uh, don't use as many arrows as they look like they are. <laughs> <laughs> Set a few of these ahead. Oh, uh, just to entirely bounce off that. But at least they're taking they out the crawler to, bees. The arrows seem to like bounce off of stuff too. Yeah. Maybe that's what the chlorophyte does for arrows. Maybe they're not homing. Yeah. I guess. I, I kind of forget how that works. Yeah, because meteorite shot is the one that does it for uh, for bullets, right? That's the one that bounces stuff. Yeah. Ouch. I think I might like the Razorblade Typhoon better than I like the other ones, just because of how the mana usage just really isn't that much. Uh-huh. And it, it splits up, too. That's the other thing. Like, there's a whole bunch of them. It's like having uh, one of the boomerangs or the chakrams or whatever they are that, like... Or the light mm -hmm. discs that sort of stack up and allow you to throw more uh, than one. <laughs> that was scary. I flew up to the top of the tree. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get knocked off now. <laughs> yeah. There's a crawlipede heading for you. Yeah, he's turning around. I'm going to try and... There's not very many enemies up here, so I'm not doing <laughs> much damage. Yeah, I'm going to try and head up there myself. I'm getting... Yep, getting attacked by Crawlipedes just because I'm oh, grappling hooked down. onto the side of a tree. The, the pillar uh, is ready? The shield is down. Right. Yep, he's ready. I'm going to head up there if I can. I'm firing at it, taking it down pretty nicely, doing like 17... Holy crap, I'm going up to like 8,000 damage. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it's all the arrows just bouncing around and hitting tons of stuff. Nice. It's down. Oh, that was superb. That was nice. And we only died once that time. <laughs> Even yeah, right better. now it says 6,000 damage per second. Was wow. My, the last amount I was doing. Just because yeah. all the arrows were like bouncing around and hitting everything. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Oh no. Crushed by Twinkle. It's <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you want. Wow, these things are surprisingly magic resistant. Like, there's these little crab things that are like something out of Sonic the Hedgehog. <clears throat> yeah, I think and those were the Twinkle... Yeah. I think it said, like, Twinkle Poppers or something. It's taking a while to take them down. And I'm coming. Yeah, they're, they're amazingly magic resistant. The star cells, not so much. <laughs> Those things are taking like six or seven hundred damage here and there, but everything else, not so much. Bouncy arrows. <laughs> Away! <laughs> Maybe I should try to fly above them and shoot down so the arrows kind of bounce yeah. up and fall back down on them. <laughs> that's, that's how we did it with the rainbow before as well, is just drag them through that. Rain arrows from above. Yeah. I think the advantage with these guys is that none of them are particularly fast. Like, the solar stuff is all super fast. 
Mm -hmm. These guys, not so much. Like, you can stay away from them pretty easily. Don't even need the rainbow strat anymore. <laughs> it is nice to have the uh, infinite flight. Yeah. Super <laughs> handy. stay in the air as long as I want. I don't know why I'm clicking so hard. This is auto fire. <laughs> yeah. Also, it like, oh, come on. Oh, no. Flow invaders. Has eviscerated. Uh, I'm about to get eviscerated myself. Oh no. Uh, oh, you're healing. You're healing. You're going up. I'm trying. Doing good. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the encouragement. I was just stating facts. I was watching you. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, that's the joy of the Spectre armor at this point. Ah, uh, except when uh, they do that. So sad. <laughs> Man, your arrows are going crazy. <laughs> that's so cool looking. <laughs> Well, I defeated. This? Oh, there's the pillar. I defeated like... the hundred and fiftieth one of those before it uh, finally got me. Right. Uh, let me just buff and heal, and then I'll be back. Nurse, nurse, uh, zing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a decent place to put a banner around here. There's not a lot of. Easy terrain. Maybe down there? Guess we could do it down there. <coughs> there we go. Got I think the, uh, star the bullets are down. a little bit better for these guys. Bullets with the chlorophyte. Or chlorophyte bullets are pretty nice with all these targets. Got those apple bottom jeans and the bullets with the chlorophyte. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rainbow gun. Uh... Suna or the <laughs> Fort Phantasm, was, that's what it's called. I was just trying to use the crystal ball as a weapon. <laughs> just flailing it, <laughs> flailing it randomly in the air. There we go. We did it. Well, that's that all taken over with. We're overwhelmed with pain, ladies and gents. And <laughs> I think we're probably all done for this episode. I think we've done a lot, we've done a lot and it's probably time to call it a day. But thank you guys for joining us on this, once again, pretty hectic Terraria adventure. My name is Pixel Riffs, and... The guy on the rainbow fish is the Cirque. <laughs> <laughs> I have been the Cirque. Don't forget to check out our channels. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye.